side, row number three in the black 57, sponsored by Myers Excavating from Fairmont, West Virginia, Mark Myers. Making his first Pittsburgh start this year in the Wheels Discount Auto Parts Store 61 from Erie, Dan Armbruster, who's been on a tear all year at the Ace High Speedway. And starting last in the Abriola Auto Store's Old Allegheny Shop 99 from Venetia, Ben Miley. Into turn four they come. The first of three qualifying heats for the Wolf's Head Late Models. And well, the green is out. Down the front straight away into turn one. It's Bob Waring Sr. grabbing the lead in car number one. As they sort themselves out. Off of two down the back straight away. It's still Waring. The battle is for second as they enter turn number three. Johnny Johnson in car 48 moving to second behind him. Here comes the 68 of Timmy Hitt. Bob Waring Sr., your leader. Johnny Johnson second, hit now third. Tom Copeland in the 10, Mark Myers in the 57, and Ed Faree in the four battle next. Copeland slows as Myers and Faree both go by as they enter turn three. Two laps are down, Bob Waring Sr., your leader. Johnny Johnson second. Timmy hit third. Faree in the four, fourth, 57. Mark Myers is still fifth, and it's Copeland, Miley, and Armbruster. Johnson and Hit making a three-car freight train down the back chute. It was a couple of weeks back that Bob Waring picked up the win here. Now Hit goes to the inside of car 68 and makes the move for second. Tim Hit out of Weston, West Virginia. Moves that rocket chassis powered by a drain into second. If he has anything for Mr. Invitational Bob Waring Sr. Down the back straightaway it's still Waring and Hit. Johnson free, Myers fifth, Miley sixth, Armbruster seventh, Copeland is off the pace in car ten. Here comes Hit to the outside off the fourth turn and he takes the lead. Simi Hit. Hooked up on the high side of the speedway in car 68. He took second with an inside pass in turn four. Takes the lead on the outside also in the fourth turn. Remember the first race night of the year here. Tim hit in car 68, looked to have the feature in hand when he had a fuel problem. It's the first time he's had this car back since opening night. He sure hasn't slowed down. Waring runs second, Johnson is third. Ed Faree fourth in car four. Mark Myers in the 57 runs fifth. Faree closing in on Johnny Johnson in the battle for third as they enter turn three that time. Three laps remaining. Now down, two to go. The race is for third between the 48 of Johnny Johnson and the four of Ed Faree. Faree goes to the inside in turn one. Off of two down the back straightaway. It's still Johnson in third with Faree fourth. Faree again at the inside as they head into turn three. White flag waving for Timmy Hit. Salvage rocket chassis Drain racing engine 68 out of Weston, West Virginia. Taking your opening heat for the Wolf's Head late models. Tim Hit. Bob Waring second. Johnny Johnson third. Ed Faree fourth. And Mark Myers completes the top five. The one J of Mike Johnson. Starting seventh from Millersburg, Ohio, race in John Mason, and starting eighth from Chester, West Virginia, in the five, it's Lou Bradish. Into turn four they come, the green is out. Look out, contact in one, Dale Fuller 
with a problem in the 75. He goes from the front of the pack to the back. It's Kip Moore, your early leader, the Georgetown General, with Steve Baker second, Nick Jones third, John Mason already the fourth in car 72. Then Burgess and Braddish battle for fifth. Stevie Baker to the outside of Kip Moore, turn three and four, race for the lead, Moore says no. Now Baker tries to slingshot, but he can't get the move made coming off of four. He'll follow him into one. Race and John Mason up to third in car 72. Kip Moore, your leader, pressured by the 84 of Steve Baker. Mason third, Jones fourth, Burgess runs fifth, and it's Braddish, Mike Johnson, and Dale Fuller. Baker again, this time to the inside, got away from him for a moment. He gathers it back in. He's still second to the Georgetown General, Kip Moore. Moore, your leader, and Baker second. John Mason third. Nick Jones in the 15, spinning in turn three and four. Everybody gets by. Hard on the brakes, but no more contact. Nick Jones loses the handle in the 15. He'll drop back a couple of spots. Mike Johnson almost to a complete stop to avoid him in the 1J. Race and John Mason now starting to make tracks on the front two. Watch the 72. Halfway, five laps to go. Bobby Burgess in the 34, fourth. Braddish in the five runs, fifth. Baker up a little high coming off of four, and Mason continues to cut into that second position. Now works underneath Baker, tries to get underneath him and turns one and two. Down the back straightaway, it's still Kip Moore, your leader, his biggest lead of the night. Race and John Mason now underneath Steve Baker as they battle for second. Burgess still fourth with Braddish, fifth coming off of four. Mason and Baker wheel to wheel as they head into turn one. In two, Baker battles back on the outside, trying to keep that second spot. Down the back straightaway, though. The horsepower of John Mason takes over second. Two laps remaining, two to go. Kip Moore, your leader, John Mason second. Steve Baker third. Bobby Burgess fourth. Lou Bradish fifth. And it's Nick Jones, Mike Johnson, and Dale Fuller. Final lap. The winner of this race will start outside the front row for this evening's 35 lap A main. Kip Moore, your leader. John Mason is closing in. Does he have enough time? Look at Mason go into three. Hard on the bottom. We're coming for the checkered flag. Off of turn four. It's going to be the Georgetown General, Kip Moore. John Mason second. Steve Baker third. Bobby Burgess fourth. And Lou Bradish completes the top five. Kip Moore, the Georgetown General, picks up the win. On Wednesday, stars back here September 18 and 19 for the Pittsburgher 100. Davey Johnson and Larry Kugel bring the field up to speed. This is the third and final qualifying heat for the Wolf's Head Lake Models. Here they come off the fourth turn, and the green is out. Johnson quickly into the lead. Larry Kugel second, then it's Dennis Curry in the 10, moving on the outside, trying to get the second spot, and he does, down the back straightaway. Kugel in the 41 third, then Flinter, and here comes Geisler, trying to work underneath Flinter, coming off the fourth turn. Look out, Curry spinning in front of the pass. Dennis Curry locks the brakes up, avoids contact with anything. He should be able to refire and go green. One lap down. He crosses the gate. There he goes on the gas. The green is back out as the Wolf said late models resume their third heat race. Coming off of turn four. Johnson leads him into one. Flinter moves into the second spot. Geisler now trying to take third from Larry Kugel. 
Down the back straight away. Mark Petrucci running fifth in the five. Watch Dennis Curry as he tries to work his way back to the front in the ten. Johnson, your leader, Flinner second. Geis for a close third. Geisler tries to get underneath Flinner in turn four. Flinner gets up high down the front straightaway. The drag race is on for second. It's still Flinner. Also, watch the battle for four, five, and six. Larry Kugel, Dennis Curry, and Mark Petrucci going at it through one and two. Curry with a sweet move from the outside to the inside in the ten. Trying to work back into the top four. Geisler continues to pressure Flinner for second with Johnson, your leader. Four laps down. Geisler again to the inside of Flinner off of two. They're wheel to wheel down the back straightaway. Geisler with the advantage now as they hit into turn three. As Flinner battles back on the outside in four. Here they come. It's Geisler to second. A little contact as they hit into turn one down the front straightaway. Johnson leading by almost a straightaway. Geisler second, Flinner third. Larry Kugel fourth. Dennis Curry in the 10 runs fifth. Four laps remaining. Van Bellich into the pits in car 48. Johnson continues to lead by a straightaway in the bullet chassis Drain Racing Engines 1J, two laps to go. Geisler second, Flinner third, Kugel is fourth, and Curry fifth. White flag, final lap. Amy Johnson, of course, our defending Pittsburgher champion. Making his third appearance in 93 here at Dirt's Monster Half Mile. Coming off the fourth turn, Wolf said heat race number three to the bullet chassis to Rain Racing Engine 1J of Davey Johnson. Second to Lynn Geisler. John Flinner third, Larry Kugel fourth and fifth to the 10 of Dennis Curry.